Hey everyone, this is James and welcome to the live stream today. As you can see from the footage playing, we are gonna focus on weddings. We're gonna focus on this particular wedding and showcase a lot of raw footage. It'll be unedited, uncolored. I just grabbed a couple of clips from this wedding, clips from throughout the day, kind of threw it together for this presentation, for this live stream, just so you guys can see what's going on here. And we're just gonna have some fun talking about this wedding and uh, hopefully I can answer some questions that any bride has that's in the planning stages now because I get a lot of the same questions in email. I get a lot of the same questions at bridal shows. And again, that's one reason I do this, uh, do the vlogging, do the live streaming, so that way you, that you can see me and hopefully during my yapping here, <laughs> I answer a question or two for you as you're in your planning stages here. So this particular wedding is at the estate on the Halifax here in the Port Orange area within Daytona Beach. It is a beautiful 10 acre uh, venue. They've got multiple uh, buildings on the property to get uh, ready at. There's a train car. Actually, if, if you look at the bride and groom now to the right, train car where the guys get ready. She gets ready at the Agatha's house. Uh, it's a beautiful two story house and I'll showcase that in just a second. But anyway, <clears throat> Just kind of a summary of what we're going to talk about here. So let me go ahead and cut into that right now. So when I arrive on the venue or at the venue, the first thing I like to do is get a lot of detailed shots. Details of the venue, details of outside. I'll get drone footage if I can, if it's weather permitting, if I'm allowed to. And then from there, I will move in and begin to start, you know, capturing the bride, her bridesmaids, obviously the groom and his, his guys. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, start getting detailed shots of that. So these are just some random clips of throughout the morning, uh, throughout the afternoon, you know, her getting ready and uh, getting getting ready for the ceremony here. So again, during this time, I'm after as much as I can, filming as much as I can, and it's also during this time, <coughs> excuse me, where I also like to grab a lot of audio. Now let me back up and just say that with the package I used to offer, I had one kind of big giant package if you will and it was a 12 to 15 minute film it included your ceremony it included the speeches introductions first dances uh, cake cutting exit all the main events throughout the day were covered in this package and that's what a lot of my couples that you see on my websites have both the james Schuler photography and videography and the james Schuler film site um, the uh the the feature film was 12 to 12 to 20 minutes um just I just felt like, you know, if I'm in your shoes, what can I get uh, in return? So I tried to do that and tried to offer you and offer couples a, a lot. Um, what I've done recently is I've actually taken that package and split it into three. So now it's a bronze, a silver and a gold package because I've I've found. Let me just go ahead and cut back to getting ready here. I've just found that that brides tend to they seem to gravitate more towards the smaller four or five, six minute films which is fine. <laughs> I mean, if that's the norm, I kind of scratch my head like, wow, really? Anyway, but uh, so it starts, the base package starts at that. And then of course it, it moves up with the other packages in terms of the length of your film and what all is included. So uh, I've tried to do that and keep that in mind. So that's what's going on now. If you hit both of the sites, you'll see the bronze, the silver and the gold package. So just wanted to kind of run down a rabbit trail with that and talk about that for a second. So back to the wedding. Once the details and everything is captured, usually by that point, we are moving into the ceremony here. <clears throat> the estate has multiple locations on the property for the ceremony. This location here is the chapel on the grounds there. And whenever I film in here, uh, my goal is to get a camera up top to get a full shot. I usually try to have a camera on the side so I can capture the, the bride and you'll see that in just a second. And then I have a third camera on the other side that's capturing the groom. And see, here's the bride here. Um, so that way, as the ceremony is progressing, whether it's a five, 10 minute ceremony or whether it's a half an hour ceremony, you know, whatever, that way I can cut between the three sources, no problem. And it also allows the photographer, and I, I tell this with every photographer I work with, I say, hey, Feel free to move around, get the shots that you need because I can cut between the three if needed. And then there's, there's sometimes I'll actually put a fourth camera on the same plane as the other two. So I've got one up top, 
two here, and I'll sometimes put a fourth one down the down the aisle, and uh, and do that. So, but you can see how beautiful this footage is coming out here. Um, just had a wonderful time filming this wedding, and uh, you know, it was it, it was beautiful. So after this, they say their I do's, and then we move into the celebration part. So they're going to be excited and say their woohoo's in just a second here. So get that top angle, and then I'm going to track with them with the gimbal coming down here, which is what you see here, and then follow them outside to make sure I get their family, get their guests, get everything going on, and, uh, you know, because at this point, I know them two, Christina and the milk car, were, were relaxed. Uh, not that they were tense, but, you know, some, some couples feel like, you know, we're building up to the ceremony, and then once the ceremony's over, you just kind of feel like, ah, oh, you know, it's behind us, we're buried now, it's over, you know. <laughs> I don't mean that to sound bad. It's just, you know, we're, we're married now. It's, it's here. It happened. Uh, in fact, she even said as she came out of the chapel, she's like, we did it, we did it. Um, so that was awesome. So, again, yeah, just capturing a lot of what's going on here. Got the gimbal up in the air, kind of getting as much as I can. And then from here, we move into the bridal portrait. So at this point, what I do is I will shadow the photographer. And then as they're doing their thing, I'm just simply filming all this and getting... You know, the bride and her parents, the groom and his parents, uh, the bridal party. And different photographers, they, they do it different ways. I've seen some that will get all this beforehand. I've seen some that get all this afterwards. Uh, my style is when I photograph a wedding, I try to get at least the girls and the guys, if I can, at least get them out of the way. So that way, when it comes time for, you know, after the ceremony, I can just focus on the bridal party I just or I just focus on the family. And then I focus on them too, and that's it. And I've got all that time to be able to do that. And this is outside uh, in the back here. Uh, just some just some beautiful footage here. And I had such a fun time with, with this with this couple, uh, with their families, with the photographer Laura. And I uh, just, just had a great time. So from here, we move into the introductions, the first dances, the speeches. I don't have all that, but what I did include was her with her dad dancing here let me go ahead and take me off the screen here and i just wanted to show you and again if you're watching this on youtube it just looks absolutely stunning um, i just hate the compression that facebook does uh, with some of the images even with some some video that i've seen but images specifically but again raw footage you see the kind of the focusing going on here whenever i'm capturing these events there's always two cameras running there's one where i'm zoomed in tight using the 7200 which is what this angle is from and then the other one is a more wide shot, usually the 2470, where I'm either waist up or it's usually, like I said, it's usually a full shot where I've got the full body there. But again, getting the uh, mother-son dance, the father-daughter dance, of course, them two dancing. But I just kind of grabbed this clip just as an example and wanted to pull it out and show you guys. So again, during the reception, getting all the main events here, the speeches, the cake cutting, everything going on. I've had couples, let me jump out real quick. I've had couples come back to me later on because I film all this and I've, I've had couples come back and tell me, um, this is with the other three packages I've got now, but I've had couples come back and say, hey, we couldn't afford all the speeches and everything now, but do you do you have that, uh, that we can grab that? And, and of course I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm sure I've got that. So they're able to get that later on as well. But uh, you know, just letting you know, I don't want you to think just because you get, may get the six hour package that, uh, you know, I'm cutting, cutting back on cameras and everything. It's still, it's still full gung ho for me with everything filming. Um, just in terms of, of what's, what's the deliverables. That's, that's what's changed. So anyway, jumping back in here from here, we go into usually the dancing at that point. So that's, what's going to be happening coming up here. So I'm on the gimbal here, just walking around and getting everybody. This was more towards the, the later part of the evening. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out here, but when it, when it first started, the place was packed. <laughs> so again, I just grabbed a random clip. Probably should have grabbed the one where the, the floor was just jam packed with everybody, but uh, I'm getting dancing here. Obviously you can see the estate, see how beautiful it looks and how it's lit up inside. Uh, this is not a Christmas look per se. This is how it is all the time. And uh, just had a, a wonderful time in getting everybody here. Sometimes I'll mess with people, I'll kind of come up on them. I think like I do this couple here and 
just you know just just have fun have fun with everybody here so um, the way the way that it's, it's laid out is right behind me where I'm filming is where the DJ's at so you know they're doing their thing I'm moving around and let me, let me actually while I'm thinking about it, let me back up you'll notice also the lighting with this particular video I'm, I'm very very particular on that I'm, I'm kind of almost like perfectionistic when it comes to videos I just I just want it to be the best it can be, not only for you, but for me as well. But you'll notice uh, the, let me take me off the screen here, how well they're lit up uh, for their dances. I, I bring lighting with me, um, you know, when I go to venues, because I never know what I'm going to walk into. And you can see, if you look behind them, you can see the beautiful blur, the bokeh. But if you look behind them, you can see how dark that area is. And if it was not for the lights, having those lights, uh, this, you know, it, it would be pretty dark as well here. So. I always bring lights to light up the main events and you can see how beautiful this looks on the screen and uh, just, I just wanted to mention that as well. So we've got first dances happening, we've got the cake cutting, moving into dancing here and then of course after that we move into the final exit. I've seen sparklers, I've seen bubbles, I've seen you name it. Uh, they actually had sparklers here obviously but you'll see them coming down. The photographer was doing her thing and then I said hey can you guys go ahead and get back a little bit. Let's do this again. And so I have them set up. I kind of come up to them midway and say, come on down. And then I start tracking with them as you're seeing here. I just had a lot of fun at this wedding and just wanted to show you some behind the scenes footage of that. I think I'm gonna start doing this with every wedding that I film or photograph. Just give you a behind the scenes look. I mean, it's one thing to post pictures. This is just my opinion. It's one thing to post pictures, which are great. But if you can actually see the photographer or videographer talking about the, the day, um, you know, I, I just think that's, it just makes it that much more enjoyable and, and special in a sense because you actually get to see the photographer, you get to see the videographer, you get to hear their personality, all the craziness about them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if, if you can connect with that person or feel like you can, then, then that's what it's all about. I'm just going to jump back into some footage here. So um, I just had a great time at this wedding and and uh, just had a great you know a great day overall so if there's any questions that you can that you have or that I can answer regarding your wedding day if you're in that planning stages now please let me know I would love to answer any questions that you've got um, like I said I'm gonna start like I said in another vlog post one of my resolutions was to do this a lot more this year uh, things are still crazy with COVID but I'm gonna, still, I'm gonna keep rolling, uh, keep people informed, um, allow them to see me and, and answer any questions that, that people have. And just, again, I, I love showing behind the scenes. I love seeing behind the scenes and I love showing it. I love talking about it. And um, we'll just have some fun on the live stream here. So my phone's yapping at me. So anyway, I'm gonna wind this one down. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you on the next vlog slash live stream. Have a good one guys.